All right, we're back here once again. This time we're here to do a first reaction to this new 21 Savage and Metro Boomin project entitled Savage Mode 2. It's finally here, and if you guys haven't seen my reaction to the trailer, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. But uh, yeah, bro, as far as I'm expecting from this project, man, I'm expecting some high energy, turnt bangers. We got Metro Boomin on the production, and then like we got 21 Savage, who I feel like been putting out some good-ass feature verses ever since he dropped his project back in uh 2018. So look, I ain't gonna hold y'all up no longer, but we finna get into it. 21 Savage, Metro Boomin, Beach Mode 2, my first reaction. Let's go. So the first song we got on here is the intro. This can be separated by hundreds or even thousands of Oh shit, this the trailer. So with the Morgan Freeman intro, that leads into the next song, which is called Running. Hey. Hey. Running. Running. Hey. Running. 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 Hey. 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 All right, that was a nice opening track. So the next song we got on here is called Glock in My Lap. That sinister ass production. Okay. Okay. He love calling people pussies, bro. Okay. This production hard as fuck though. Okay. This is definitely one of them songs that's gonna sound good as hell when you play it in the car. Uh, the next song we got on here is called Mr. Right Now featuring Drake. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about 21 Savage on this, but I feel like Drake gonna come through and save this one. Hey. 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 What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We ain't gonna slide past that like he ain't just say that. You used to date who back in 08? Bro, this man Drake's hit list just keeps getting more like... This man Hitler just keep going up and up and up. Like I've I haven't seen nobody with a better hit list than Drake. Mm. And my goal is to get you to the finish line. Hey. I seen good movies and <laughs> The next song we got on here is called Rich Nigga Shit featuring Young Thug. Wait a minute. Is this slow? Sensual? Savage? <laughs> Jeffrey? This is the perfect song for Young Thug. This is the perfect production. So the next song we got on here is called Sliding. Oh, this shit gonna sound good in the car. <laughs> Flame, pow, nigga. Is this the chorus? Slide it. Oh, slide it. Said to be like a knife, but the sky. Not the knife, bro. Morgan Freeman with the inspirational quotes. All right, the next song we got on here is called Many Men. I wonder if this is a tribute to 50 Cent. Okay, this shit came off the trailer. I remember this one. Okay, there it go. Many men wanna kill me, dog. I feel like 50. Many men wanna kill me. 
this definitely one of them songs where like I love the production, but overall it's gonna have to grow on me though. All right, the next song we got on here is called Snitches and Rats Interlude. Me, a snitch is someone minding other folks' business. We really got Morgan Freeman on here breaking down the difference between rats and snitches. Bro, this is an iconic interlude. I don't care how you feel about it. Cowardly ass. The difference is, Six, nine. at least a snitch is human. All right, the next song we got on here, it leads into Snitches and Rats featuring Young Nudie. Let's go. Pussy told on his brother. That was an okay young nudie verse. The next song we got on here is called My Dog. I ain't know nothing about no visa. I was in a park with the gang. Mars be feeling he gon' ride. Out the leash. And that UK shit like I don't got AKs. Like it's a one of the motherfuckers ain't gonna. Bro, bro, stop playing with that man. Bro. Oh, y'all think that man ain't got guns because he's from the UK. Wow. All right, so the next song we got on here is called Stepping on Knees. Okay, production. Mm. I'm trying to figure out where I know this song from. I don't think it's from an NWA song. For some reason, I feel like it's from a like an old Cash Money song. Stepping on niggas. Stepping on niggas. Hey. We're in a weird way. I actually like this song. I can't even lie. This is a vibe. Bro, it's something I knew how to scratch. So the next song we got on here is called Brand New Draco. We ain't giving out smoke. We giving out that bomb fluid. Spinning. Nigga said we ain't giving out smoke. We giving out that bombing fluid. When the police hit the lights, I do not slow down. Oh God. Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh. Put some holes in your shirt. Nice red soaking. Ain't running from no smoke. Pierce in the colon. Okay. You can get hit with one of them guns from my ad lib. Not the Beretta. Not the cheddar. Okay, I like how that one ended. The next song we got on here is called No Op Left Behind. Oh, we killing everybody. No Ops. All right. What is this? Mm. Okay, exactly. Killing everybody. <laughs> Bro, I like this chorus though. The next song we got on here is called R.I.P. Love. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I ain't even gonna lie. Slick, this might be my favorite song on here right now. <laughs> this shit was hard. So the last and final song we got on here is called Sad and Done. This shit took some time, bro. Finally get my shine on. I didn't been betrayed. But now he ready to tell Just got shit to diagnostic saying he on the plot. Mm. <laughs> 10 freaky girls 10 freaky girls that that's the sample that that's the damn sample until next time stay in savage mode always because anything else would be too damn civilized Ooh, yes. that's how you close a show that's how you close an album let's go let's go final verdict for savage mode 2 i like this project 
and it pretty much lived up to the expectations that I had for it. Now, this project got plenty of bangers on it, but at the same time, this is one of them projects where I do feel like over time, like, I don't know, I do feel like it does start to drag a little bit. When I got to my dog, that's when it started, like, this project started to sort of drag for me, but at the same time, it was like the, the different mixtures and variety of production after the fact that started, I don't know, it sort of brought me back in. So for the most part, I'm feeling the production. If I had to be honest, like the ones that I like on here the most, it'll be more so like the slower songs, like Rich Nigga Shit with Young Thug. I really love the vibeness of it. Like it's just, it's just a slow vibe and it feel like on some wavy type of shit. R.I.P. Love is another example of that because like with the title, I'm thinking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thinking love might be a particular person, but nah, he talking about like the concept of love. It felt like a slow, sensual, sad type of damn 21 Savage. Like, we didn't got those sad 21 Savage songs before, but at the same time, this is sort of like sad and almost like a damn... I don't know, it's sad in like a damn comedic way. So overall with the lyrics, I feel like 21 Savage pretty much did his thing. Like, he's not one of those people that I just go to for like bars, 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 like a Kendrick Lamar, Lupe Fiasco type of person. He's not that type of person, but at the same time, he do have like little lines and shit, like here and there to catch me off guard. And that's the other part of it too. Like he, 21 Savage always got some type of comedic factor to him and I don't know, bro. It just sort of like I don't know. It adds like a it adds like another layer to his tracks, bro. Because like Twenty One Savage, as far as like his personality, he come off as like this super just hard person. But at the same time, you want them people that watch like his IG lives and all that stuff. He seems like he's a real cool, chill, down to earth person. As far as the features on here, there's only three. I feel like with Drake, he sort of stole the show on Mr. Right now. But at the same time, I feel like this one of them songs that's gonna sort of like grow on me because at first I wasn't really feeling it for real, mainly because of the production. But then it's like when Drake came on, I don't know, I started to feel a little more like if you pay attention to the stuff that Drake been on lately, this sound like a song or some junk that, that might have popped up on like his upcoming album, Certified Love boy just sort of like that mainstream sort of like trappy sound that drake been on lately like that's what this remind me of and then rich nigga shit with young thug i feel like that song is pretty much made for a young thug like, and young nudie like i said earlier like it started off like it was gonna be something but then i just feel like it just sort of went down here after a while so feature wise i like them for the most part. Comparing this one to the first one, right now, I probably have to give it to the first one. I feel like this one's gonna have to grow on me a little bit. For one, like, that one's a little bit more condensed. Like, that one's only nine songs. This one's like 15. So, and I feel like, and I actually feel like some songs could have been taken out, but at the same time, 44 minutes, that ain't too bad. As far as with this album cover, I like how they went back to like the old school, no limit, Master P, retro ass covers. So yeah, overall, I'm feeling this project. If I had to rate this project out of a 10, right now, I'd probably give it probably a 7. With that being said, please let me know how y'all feel about this project in the comment section. Let me know if I was wrong about some stuff. Please feel free to correct me. Also, if you have any suggestions as far as like any songs, anything like that, that you guys think that I should listen to, be sure to DM me in my social media at, and and also, be sure to leave comments in the comments. Ooh, I didn't drop my phone. Be sure to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And yeah, man, this is T-Sign. Now, once again, thank you guys for watching. Peace.